So what's up everyone? This video is for all the people who've been asking about Mountain Haven Townhouse community and have just had some more questions, a little bit more information. So I'm just going to do a quick walk around, give you an update, showing you some of the things that we're up to and what are going to be happening in the near future. This is one of the cabins that are on the property. Uh, this will be home to whoever decides to rent it. Uh, as you can see, there's little things like this that are like, it's been kind of sitting up and so we're doing all kinds of things to make the area much more beautiful in the coming weeks and months. Uh, this is one uh, cabin and there's several more down the hill. This is one, this is the first resident, her first tiny house. Our first tiny house um, was set up today. So we built her a little uh, staircase to go up to the tiny house. Just got electricity, water, plumbing. <clears throat> this is the camp store. This used to be a, a campground and this is where everyone uh, used to come in and check in and check out and buy supplies. So we're going to completely revamp this. We haven't decided what we're going to do, but most likely we're hoping to have some caretakers, people who live here on the property that can kind of look after everything and help people if they need something that they could live here. Uh, so that's the goal for this building, but we're not 100% sure. It's a really quiet area back here. These are all the campsites that used to be here. And further down the meadow there in the future will be more tiny houses. Here's one we just brought in. No one's bought this one yet, but this is an example of one that we can build beautiful tiny home and so this will be home to someone in the near future we haven't set this one up we're going to put some stairs up front for people uh, and also if you live here you can actually at your own expense if you want it you can put a deck and so you could just have someone here local build that for you walking through here looking back you can see this is where the tiny house community is going to be well it's already started got multiple tiny homes going on over there and there's another one up the hill i'll show you that one in a second so here is a 20 foot lad we have put up here and we face it the other way for a little bit of privacy. There's a picnic table there in the back and you can have like your own little yard and then there's an area to park your car right up here in front. So we have a 20 foot lad, we have a 28 foot model tiny and another 28 foot model tiny here. But yeah, when you walk down the hill here, there's two other cabins. These are both kind of primitive cabins. Uh, cabins. They don't really have any water going to them or anything like that. So we're gonna convert these into like full service cabins where people can stay long-term. And if we find out those are a hit and people like that and they wanna rent long-term, we'll probably build some more. But yeah, as you can see, this is a big open field. The idea is in the future, we're gonna have, we're gonna carve that side of the mountain out a little bit and have some tiny homes here in this wide open field. And there's some people who want to be, we're gonna bring gravel road in here. You can see it's kind of muddy. It just needs gravel brought in. But uh, there's a lot of people we've heard that want to ha be in an open field and a lot of people want to be in a wooded setting. So we're hoping to have a little bit of both. A little birdie. But as you walk through here and go up the hill, there's more um, spots up here. And these were tent sites in the past. So they only have water and electric. But we will be bringing in sewer back here. So there could be, this is really private back here. Um, <clears throat> and there'll be more spaces for tiny homes back here and i know it seems a little dark it's almost uh nightfall it's just a few minutes before it gets dark so that's why it's kind of dark out here but um there'll be hopefully some tiny homes over here and you can see all the spots here um these will probably be uh tiny house spots as well and the good thing about being back here is you're pretty private and you're really close to the fishing pond back here so as you make your way past this last field you can see there's a beautiful pond back here and this pond is spring fed so there's always water coming and going and from what i'm told i haven't tried my luck yet but i've been told there's catfish in here and there's perch and bluegill so and the trail goes all the way around so you can walk around this and get your exercise no swimming of course please but yeah that's just another feature of the community i hadn't spent a lot of time in the virginia mountains until uh, we acquired this place but i have to tell you it's really quiet really peaceful and I'm really excited to see what the summer months are like because I live in Wilmington, North Carolina. It's very hot and muggy. And from what I'm told, it's nice and cool here in the winters. Over here in this big field, you can see there's a garden. And off in the distance, there's another building. We're going to be building, we're not sure exactly where and which part of the garden, but we're going to do a nice greenhouse. So everyone can share a community garden and um, grow their own food and vegetables and herbs. So in the coming weeks and months, we're definitely going to be making lots of upgrades. Uh, but right now we have limited availability. So if you're someone who's interested, if you've asked about Mountain Haven or if you just want to know more, that's what this video is about. But just email us at build at tinyhouselistings.com or go to tinymountainhaven.com. We can get more information and uh, you can 
The, this, this tiny house community is exclusively for people who want to buy a tiny house and have one built from tiny house listings, one that we've actually built, not one for selling the website.